three sharp vocal sounds and their anatomical basis. Hi folks, I'm Vova. I'm a singer and a vocal trainer and this is my channel about anatomical vocal training. These are the three major sharp sounds for your voice that I explained in my um, long long playlist over there. Um, and th this is like a, like a, you know, comparison and a short summary of the three of them. Because the first two, they are, they are not an, an antagonistic movement against your range muscles. So, um, wherever high or low, you, it's very likely that you can learn how to do these first two versions um, throughout almost your entire range. The third one, the chest voice, is, is a little limited towards the upper end. Um, but here we go. So, the first one is from head voice to interior vocal edge, which I explain in depth what that is and how it works in this video. So head voice. To interior vocal edge. Now interior vocal edge really just means that the vocal cords change their shape. The um, thyroarytenoids pars interna, also called uh, musculus vocalis, the vo vocalis muscle, is changing literally the shape to, to make, to be a bit more sharp towards the middle, towards each other. And therefore the sound becomes from round and soft to more sharp. Right, it's more sharp. Now, that's the first thing. Now the second thing, once you, you have that sharpness, you can kind of like um, twist the arytenoid cartilages and then the, sh the sound becomes even more sharp because your vocal cords are tightened and they, they, they are closed more firmly and the quicker they are closed again while they're vibrating, the more loud the sound, the harder also they clap towards one another, which I explained in depth in that video. And the third step is chest voice. Now chest voice means you're activating the thyroarytenoid muscle pars externa. Thyroarytenoid pars externa is the chest voice muscle and that kind of like um, in, in its activity it shortens more or less depending on how intensely you use it the vocal cords and it's therefore an, a direct antagonist to your range muscle which pulls your vocal cords long. Right? And you see how I can go, I, I can kind of like add more muscle action, right? It's not a, I have to switch or swap anything um, kind of thing, because that's the, that's the deal when people think about head voice, chest voice up and down. That's not my definition at all, because if I had that definition like this, I couldn't do like a smooth transition from one to, from head voice to chest voice and back. Um, but I have this smooth transition because my definition of head voice and chest voice are anatomic based, which I explain in depth in my playlist. And what you also hear when I do this, I don't go more tight. I don't go like, it doesn't feel like the sound goes from oh, very broad to very, very tiny, right? I don't go oh. It stays as round and full as it is. And I just add more muscles, um, you know, I make more muscles active and then I make less muscles active. So therefore it's a, a smooth transition. And therefore I can have these, these um, sounds over about three octaves of my, of my range 
because I define my vocal sounds through my muscle actions, right? Not just the sound, but like what kind of muscle needs to be active in order to produce that sound. So the, the muscle action is the base for my definitions of the sounds, not just all the sound. Because if, if you just go from the sound, what the sound is like, you will never understand what anatomically happens. And once you understand what anatomically happens first and what can anatomically happen, then it's much easier to create the sounds. Now, in order to do learn all of these sounds, it's very, very good, well, first of all, to go through my full playlist, um, but also start with, with opening up the instrument, right? If, if I couldn't open up, oh, I have a very, very big, round sound, I could not do any of these because all of these need to have an open um, instrument first in order for the, vo the, the vocal cords to even have the, the flexibility, the, the space to, to clap so hard against one another, to change their shape. If there's no space between them, they can't change their shape. So the basic is really to open up the voice. Open up. That's why I have like 50 plus videos about opening, yawning, because that is the most important thing if you want to learn anything. You know, and these sharp sounds, they thrive through opening rather than closing. And this is counterintuitive because we think since they're so sharp, oh, then I have to, you know, um, uh, contract everything and, and make everything smaller. Not at all. The opposite is true. The more open, the more wide your throat, the sharper your sounds will be. Sit with that. <laughs> so when you want, when you want to start vocal edge and interior vocal edge is the first sharp sound that you should learn because it's the more, um, it's a more subtle thing. It's a very subtle thing. You have to really calm down and be really subtle with it. Then uh, after interior vocal edge, the rest will just come easily, way more easily to you. Chest voice is a bit different, but from interior vocal edge to cricoarginoid lateralis is really going to be just when you have that subtle sensation of changing nothing but the little edge in your vocal cords, then um, it will later and later on the more strong your voice becomes automatically become easier to do the lateralis uh, action also so i hope that helps you a bit in your thinking about your voice and in thinking about sharp sounds of the voice and if so please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel let me know if you have any questions in the comments and i hope to see you around don't go yet here's some important information if this is all a bit out of context for you and you don't know quite how to put all of this together i have created a playlist a playlist of the full anatomical vocal training so that you understand from beginning to end you know where it starts why this muscle why that muscle because some of the videos that i'm doing out of context they might be like why are you doing this right so if you go to my channel you will go to the playlists and then you will find the full anatomy playlist uh, right there and it has everything from start to beginning why to stretch what muscle groups how to stretch them why to begin there or what to do so it's kind of like a chronological order so that you can really have a full understanding of the whole thing that I'm teaching here. So check it out, I see you over there.